Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and full review for Legion and the final episode as well, which is episode 8 or chapter 8, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, gotta say, pretty creepy ending to a pretty cool show, I gotta say, because honestly, I, I didn't expect certain things to happen in this show. And go a completely different direction here. It was just like weird. Basically, if you remember what happened from last week, um, David and his team pretty much got captured. Well, kind of, almost got captured from by the government. And um, yeah, David decided to use his powers obviously and turn um, one of the men, one of the higher up guys who got his face burned like in the beginning, a couple episodes when David was tied to a chair inside a pool. He came back after being in a coma for a couple of weeks or months or whatever it was and um yeah he basically had some guys with him and they would turn him into a human what do you call it Rubik's Cube if you want to call it that yeah he put them all together basically crushed them so that was pretty cool and then of course you had the Shadow King basically come out and decides that it wants to be its own thing have its own body and try to destroy David from the outside because you know there was David was basically resisting it from the inside, so that wasn't going to work, so he had to basically take him out from the outside. Um, like I said, I enjoyed Legion. It was a pretty cool show. It wasn't the best show, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. Listen, this is basically a prototype of X-Men TV shows. You know, this is the first time given a crack at the X-Men universe in a smaller capacity because, you know, they done so well with the X-Men movies, and, you know, some hits, hits and misses, but you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, this was the first time in China, and it, it turned out pretty well. I enjoyed it for what it was, and, you know, they got another X-Men TV show coming out soon, so hopefully that has more mutants, more action. But, you know, getting to know David's story and how powerful he is, and especially when he unlocks all that power, whew, this guy's on pretty much... In a league of his own, in a class of his own, probably more smarter than his father, which is Professor X. And like I said, I enjoyed it. The ending was great. The ending spoiler if you haven't seen it. Um, Shadow King basically escaped as in that girl form that he was before and hanging out with um. Oh man, you know she just left basically, and then apparently there was an after credit for this. To, to show us what's gonna happen in the next one, and I still have my head of, like wrapped on, like what's gonna happen. But this is a couple of guesses. But basically, the ending was him and his girlfriend just st him and sitting just standing around, and then this silver orb thing comes out, scans David, and sucks him up into the orb, and he just floats away. Now a lot of people online are speculating that this could end up being. Um, S.W.O.R.D., which is another organization, kind of like S.H.I.E.L.D., but, um, they do things their own way, not behind, like, the government, and most of their stuff deals with space. Who knows? I mean, it could be a possibility. It could be true. I don't think so, because I, I doubt they'll do the space stuff. I know the rumors going out there that the next X-Men movie might be in space, but who knows? Until we know officially what's going to happen... It's just guesses here and there, but uh, what I think is going to happen, also a lot of people think it's oh, Magneto or something. At first I thought it was Magneto, maybe maybe he found him and decided to take him, but why would he use a small orb to grab him, that was just weird. But then I thought maybe it's just another group of mutants who knew about David and would just watch him from the you know distance and decided, that, hey, we need your help, be on our team, let's take over the world, or help the world or whatever. That's just my guess, but I have no idea. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one when it comes out, maybe next year. But, um, yeah, the show was fun. Bad score. Overall, I'll give it a 70% out of 100. It was fun. I liked it. So, I, I'm looking forward to more, so when it comes out, I'll watch it again. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought, if you saw it, and what you thought about the whole entire first season of it. Leave a comment below, let me know what you guys thought. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click that bell to get all my notifications. And thank you and have a good day.